Good morning, folks. We'll be looking at space weather, big storms in the Pacific and Indian Oceans, a good study on energetic neutral atoms from the edge of the heliosphere, and a follow-up on yesterday's big super flare story. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find the last day may have continued to be devoid of larger flares, but a couple filaments did snap away from the corona, and there are several more turning to face Earth with the active regions. Two dark patches you see are the coronal holes. They have an excellent chance of impacting Earth with enhanced solar wind on Friday or Saturday, with concurrent possibilities of enhanced geomagnetic activity. We will continue to monitor the sunspots. We'll keep an eye on the solar wind as we head towards the weekend. And of course, we'll be watching these various plasma filaments. They range from tiny ropes on the outskirts of sunspot groups to a massive one we can see towering over the incoming limb on the left. Let's go next to the oceans. Big storms in the West Pacific and Northwest Indian Ocean. Good news on the first is it's expected to bend northward before hitting the Philippines and then back northeast away from Japan. Meanwhile, the Indian Ocean storm is sliding slightly northward. We'll have to see how its movement shifts as it approaches land near either Africa or the Middle East. Good study here on energetic neutral atoms. They found much of what they were expecting to find but also something more, one or two small additional populations of flux particles that they say need further study. Folks, it's the exact same excess in ENAs discovered by another team, which we've reported before, and which would be required to be there if we are taking the galactic current sheet, which we indeed think are from that galactic magnetic wave hitting our solar system now. Lastly, folks, we hit the topic of super flaring yesterday in a good paper here, gives us some rough guesses about how often such major solar storms are expected to occur. Something like the Carrington event every 200 years, something likely in the X100 range every 500 to 1000 years, and then the biggest impacts every 4000 years or so. Now that may differ a bit from the 3000 and 6000 year cycles we've identified in that previous paper, but not as much as it sounds. It essentially confirms that the major super flare cycles of the sun should be on those millennial time scales which is precisely what we've been expecting. If you missed it yesterday, we also have our next Observer event set. June 24th, we'll be gathering at Observer Ranch to see the progress and chat all things Observer from 10.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Hope to see you out there. Link is below. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.